Hi friends, you are most welcome to my channel Pharma Engineering. In this video, we are going to uh, see the description of bearing number. Till now, if you are not subscribed to my channel, then please subscribe and press the bell icon. Already I have recorded this video in Hindi. Now we are, I am recording this video in English language. So come on, let's see what is the description of bearing number. I have taken one uh, bearing number 6205-Z-C2. We will see the each uh, number of this bearing and uh, see its uh, description in detail. So come on, let's see. We will see the description of first number. Here first number is uh, 6. So what is the first number of bearing describes? The first number of bearing describes its bearing type. If uh, here one number describes the self-aligned ball bearing, Two number describes the barrel and spherical roller bearing. Three number describes the taper roller bearing. Four number describes double deep group double row ball bearing. Five number describes excel deep group ball bearing. And six number describes deep group ball bearing. Seven number describes single row angular contact bearing. And eight number describes axial cylindrical roller bearing. Now we have completed the description of first number. Now we will see the description of second number, what the second number describes in bearing. So come on, let's see. Here second number describes the bearing series. Here second number describes the bearing series. If 0 is uh, mentioned in the bearing number, then it describes the extra light series. 1 describes the extra light thrust bearing series. And 2 describes light. 3 describes medium series. 4 describes heavy. And 9 describes very thin section. So here we have completed the description of second number of bearing. Yeah, now we are going to see the description of third and four digit of the bearing number. So come on, let's see. Here fourth and fifth number of the bearing number describes a bore ID in mm. So if double zero is mentioned in the bearing number, then it describes 10 mm bore ID. Right? This is the bore ID, bore ID of the bearing. So if double zero is mentioned in the bearing number here, then it describes its ID is 10 mm. If 0 1 is uh, mentioned, then it describes 12 mm. If 0 2 is mentioned, then it describes bore ID as 15 mm. If 0 3 is mentioned, then it describes the bore ID as 17 mm. If number is greater than 3, that is 0 4, 0 5, 0 6, 0 7, 0 8, 0 9 and, and much more, then we have to calculate the bore ID by just multiplying the that number by 5. For example, if here it is mentioned as 05, so we have to calculate the ID of that pairing. So we will multiply this number that is 05 by into 5. We will get the answer as 25, that is the bore ID of the bearing. If, if it is mentioned here as 04, then its bore ID will be 0, 04 into 5. We are multiplying by 5. Then we will get the answer at 20 mm. That is, we will have the bore ID as 20 mm. So now we have completed the, uh, completed the description of third and four digit. Now we will move to the next number or digit. So here, this number or digit indicates the seal or type of seal. So if no nothing is mentioned here, then it indicates no seal. This is the bearing like this. This bearing has no seal or nothing. If single Z is mentioned in this bearing number, then it indicates one seal and that seal is of metal. And if double Z is mentioned in the bearing, then it indicates seal on both sides of the bearing. Seal is on the both side of the bearing, which is made up of metal. And if R is, men, uh, is mentioned on this uh, mentioned here that it then, then this indicates one seal that is seal on one side of the bearing which is made up of rubber. If two R is mentioned here that then it indicates seal on both side of the bearing which is made up of rubber. If K is mentioned here then it indicates tapered board that is this bore of the bearing is tapered. So we have completed the description of this number also. Now we will move to the ne uh, next, that is last number or digit. 
Here last number indicates the internal clearance. If C1 is mentioned here, then it indicates the standard clear clearance in the bearing. If C2 is mentioned, then it indicates less than the standard clearance. If C3 is mentioned, then it indicates larger than the standard clearance. If C4 is mentioned, then it indicates too much larger than the standard clearance. So in this video, we have described all the number and uh, its description in detail. So, so thanks for watching. If you have not subscribed my channel, then please subscribe. If you like this video, then please share it. Thanks for watching.